So let's say we might may have a um, a uh, public um, type, and this might equal um, let's say eighteen to twenty five. So this is the um, type of, a, of of savings account I have. Just as an example, we could say ISA or whatever. So eighteen to twenty five is the type of account that um, exists at the moment. Um, and when we create this Alex Savings, we can also then um, we can also then grab this type because we've created it as a public property. We can take this type of account and we can um, echo it out. However, this is not going to be available in our bank account class because we've created an extension of our bank account, but with this additional um, property, which is only available to use inside this class here. So let's go ahead and test this. We'll test it with both. We'll test it with bank account and then with uh, the savings account. So if I was to say under here, Alex, um, or Echo rather, Echo, let's get rid of our balances. Um, Echo, uh, Alex, and then type. So we're trying to echo the type of account that I have in my normal bank account. Now because we've only extended our bank account and and, and specify this additional property in our savings account class when nothing it's not going to work we're going to we're going to return an error so we've got undefined property bank account type that's because our property doesn't exist within our bank account class it only exists within our savings account so let's get rid of that line there we can't do that unless we've already pre-specified it up here in which case it will automatically be available in uh, savings account and I'll show you an example of that in just a moment Okay, so um, let's go ahead and say Alex Savings, and now let's echo out the type of account. So echo uh, Alex Savings and the type of account. So let's go ahead and refresh, and you can see that we've been um, we've been displayed with the value eighteen to twenty five, is which which is what the account we specified up here. So now what I was talking about earlier is because this is um, only available in savings account which is an extension of bank account we can't use it with bank account but if we did want to use it with bank account we can cut that from there we can put it in there and now what happens is this is available for each um, for each um, instance we create so what we might do is we might create a new bank account and then we might say um, we might give it a specific value and we'd need a method to do this so um, we could create a new method called um, in fact no no what we can do is we can come down here and we can say Alex um, type no let's let's do it through a method so we'll come up here and we'll say um, function uh, public function we need public function uh, set type and this is going to set the type of um, account that we're currently dealing with so what we can do is once this function is run and we take in the type here uh, let's give it another name just so we don't confuse it with the uh, property name so set type um, input we can now say this type equals um, input okay so we've set the value of this type here to the input so what we can do is when we now create a new account we can say Alex set type and we can set the type to um, let's say um, 18 to 25 current um, and now with our savings account we can do exactly the same thing because remember we've extended all methods and properties so we can say Alex savings um, set type super saver okay so now what we can do is we can uh, get rid of that we can now echo out let's say the um, balance and the type of account so I'm gonna say echo Alex, um, first of all, Alex, and then I'm going to say um, type, and then I'm going to say has, and then I'm going to say Alex display balance. 
Okay, so what this is going to do is it's going to take the type of account and then it's going to say has and the certain amount of balance that's in there. And we can append a line break on there. Let's just test this one in, in particular first. Let's refresh. You can see that 18 to 25 current has balance 80. So let's go and get rid of this dot. Where did I put that? Oh yeah, okay, so I've, I've got current the dot in there so let's uh, refresh so 18 to 25 current has balance 80 now what we can do is because we're extending this we're extending the method and the property uh, like before we just set the property inside here we can echo out Alex savings and then we can echo the type out remember this is a property not a method so we're just echoing out the raw public property so if we would set this to private we wouldn't be able to do that we'd have to create a method in order to return the type as we do with display balance so now let's go ahead and say uh, savings type and we can say has and uh, Alex savings display balance and we'll put a line break just on the end of here to keep things neat and let's refresh so we've got 18 to 25 current has balance 80 and super saver has balance 3000. So in this tutorial we've looked at adding uh, another method and another property and also extending a bank account and de demonstrating how we can create additional properties in here. I haven't shown method but it's exactly the same way as you do a property. You just pop that straight into savings account and then that's unique to savings account. However, um, every method and property in bank account we can now use in savings account. And I've also given a short example, um, so I encourage you to sort of play around with this, create new methods and properties inside your savings account and bank account, or whatever classes you're creating for whatever purpose you're creating them for. Um, play around and see what you can do and can't do. And I can guarantee that after you've got the hang of this, um, object-oriented programming in general will become a lot easier to grasp.